Uh, you have you do something on your show, which again people should check out. Uh, we're we're all we're fans of Nintendo here as well, so yeah, not just Sega. Hey, the, Genesis the does what wars, Nintendo don't. Exactly, the console wars are are over at least between Sega and Nintendo. Anyway, um, so one of the things you do when you have a, a new guest on the show is you you do the the first and best right uh, game or f- yeah, first for- and favorite something like that. First Nintendo game, favorite Nintendo game. Yeah, so I, I want to do the same for you, but in regards to Sega games. So Perfect. <laughs> and I didn't ask you in advance, so whatever comes to mind, first Sega game, favorite, best, whatever, the, the most notable, tell me, please. Absolutely. So um, I've, I've told this story on my show probably more times than people care to listen to it. Um, but, you know, when I had uh, my first ever console was the Super Nintendo, and I got it under the tree for Christmas. And then a couple years went by. I absolutely adored it. And my family was like, hey, guess what? We're moving to Florida. And I was living in Maryland at the time. And it, um, I was like, okay. And then our house ended up selling way faster than we expected. So the house in Florida was not ready for us yet. So we had to move in with my grandparents. It was about 30, 30 or 35 minutes away from where I was living at the time. And so we did that. And... We went to go set up the Super Nintendo and they go, "Uh oh, we accidentally packed it way in the back and we can't get to it. So they'd already taken me away from all my friends in the neighborhood. And now they also took away (laughs) my video game console by complete accident. So uh, here I am like living in my grandparents for I think we we were there for like three or four months. So they were like, well, we can't not have him have any friends around. And we can't, and also no video games. And so you, you were like asking, why do you hate me so much? And <laughs> things like that. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> my, my parents were like, okay, well, my, my grandfather had a membership to BJ's Wholesale Club, which is, you know, just a membership based uh, like club that you can go in and, and buy things at a, a discount. And sometimes they would have exclusive like bundles and everything of, of entertainment stuff. So you, you get like, uh, like movies bundled together for cheaper, or, or in this case, uh, a Sega Genesis that was bundled together with, I think it came with a second controller, Echo the Dolphin, and Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And That's I a nice had, bundle. It is. And uh, I had um, heard about Sonic, and I'd seen like the cartoon and everything. So I was excited about that. So that was naturally the first one that I fired up, and I was blown away by it. You know, as soon as... I reached chemical plant zone immediately. That song was ingrained in my skull for the rest of my life. Still one of the greatest video game songs of all time. For and sure. I played it to death. You know, I, I, I love Sonic 2, but I went out and uh, at the time I bought Sonic 1 and I was like, oh, this is good, but not as good, but still fun. I'm glad that I played it. But that leads me to my favorite Sega game. And that is, I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know if this is cheating, but Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It's not. It, it, it was supposed to be one game, so yeah. yes. Yes. So uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, one of my favorite video games of all time and uh, easily my favorite Sega game. Uh, though I will say the only thing that challenges it, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I was a, a Genesis kid. Uh, I mean, in addition to having the Super NES, I played a lot of Genesis and Sonic quickly became my obsession as soon as I, especially Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And then I got like crazy into the the Archie comic series that was running at yeah. the time, the uh, the Sonic Archie comics. And, um, you know, the, the, the cartoons, uh, everything you could imagine with, with Sonic. I was just consuming, consuming, consuming. Even like I had a Game Gear because I wanted to play all the, the portable Sonic games. I, I maintain that the, uh, maybe this is a, a, an opinion that will have aged poorly, at this point, but I think the the Game Gear version of Sonic Spinball is better than the Genesis version. Um, so mm, I, I played a lot maybe. of the spinoff. I mean, I, I just think the physics feel wonky maybe. on the uh, the Genesis version. I'm but. not a not a big fan of the 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 Genesis one, to be honest. So yeah, I think I've played the Game Gear the the eight bit one on one of those collections. Yeah, at some point, but I can't really remember. So, but maybe it's maybe it Sonic feels Origins tighter. Plus. Oh yeah, probably, probably, yeah. The, um, it just felt a little bit tighter games. to me. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So 
I was playing everything and then like I didn't have another Sonic or Sega console until the Dreamcast. Mm-hmm. But the only Sega game that may challenge Sonic 3 and Knuckles is a very recent Sega game. Uh not necess- not not technically a Sega game, but also very much technically a Sega game. And that's Persona 5. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I mean, because I always, I never think of it as a Sega game, but it absolutely is. You it know, is. Sega it owns that list. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was expecting like something like Sonic Mania. Not technically a Sega game, but okay, but it is okay. okay. Oh, I love Sonic Mania. I mean, uh, T Lopes, T Lopes did the, <laughs> yeah. uh, the theme song to my my podcast when I joined yeah, Independent. That's true. I wanted to signal it as like kind of a new era, and I had been using one of those songs that you can just like get. Like if you pay for a subscription, you can get like a license free or whatever um, um, for the the first several years of all things Nintendo. And then when I took it independent, I actually reached out to T Lopes, who had been on the show a few times, and I was like, "Hey, uh, love to have you do a, a thing for my podcast." And he was very <laughs> gracious with his time, and he brainstormed with me, and was uh, amazing putting together it, the way I describe it. Uh, the theme song that he he created it almost sounds as though. T Lopes made a Mario Kart song and (laughs) it's, it's beyond anything I could have imagined. Like, you know, whenever you ask somebody, like, even if you tell them what you're looking for, like you, you can ask for exactly what you're looking for. And then it could come back and you're like, "Uh, I don't know about this. I knew as soon as the, the beat drops the first time I listened to it, I'm like, Oh yeah, this is my new theme song. This is fantastic. Yeah. yeah, He was a great Great song. He was awesome. And so, yeah, I, I love Sonic Mania. I, th- I mean, as mm. much as I adore Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I think Sonic Mania is probably the best Sonic game. It just doesn't have that nostalgia factor for me that Sonic 3 and Knuckles will always have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I usually answer uh, I, a little bit differently. But I, my favorite Sonic game is Sonic 2. Okay. For nostalgia that's reasons. Fair. Yeah, that, I, 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 I usually say I understand Sonic 3 and Knuckles is objectively the better game. Yes, it is. It's probably, I probably play right now, like re- more recently, I've been playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles every now and then. And I usually play Sonic 3 and Knuckles more often than Sonic 2. But uh, the nostalgia associated with Sonic 2, it's just like, it, you can't beat that. But my, the best 2D Sonic game for me is Sonic Mania, hands down. It it's made extremely me so good, yeah. happy when it came out. It just doesn't have that nostalgia factor, you know, that Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and even the, the original Sonic have. So I, I totally get what you're what you're saying, yeah. yeah although I, I will say that I, man, like it's hard to compare the two just because I love both of them so much. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I feel, is the perfect Sonic game. I don't think there's anything that anybody could do, whether it be Takashi Azuka, whether it be Naoto Oshima or Christian Whitehead, that could top Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Like we've seen Sonic Mania and it, it came very close, if not surpassing it. And then Sonic Superstars is also quite good, but it has it just doesn't have that magic that Sonic 3 and Knuckles has. I do, I do enjoy Sonic Superstars very much, more than probably most people. <laughs> that I know at least, but I, it, objectively speaking, it's not as good as the classic games, if you will. Mm-hmm. I, I consider Sonic Mania as one of the classic games, even if it does improve, you know, the, the original formula quite substantially, I, I would say. Uh, it's like a more polished version of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, if you will, perhaps. Absolutely, yeah. And yeah. I, the biggest thing that... I, knocks down Sonic 3 and Knuckles for me in 2024 is that we can't get those three songs. We can't, or the three zone songs. Uh, what is it? Ice Cap, Casino Night, and... Launch um, Base. And Launch Base, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some phenomenal music in there. Like, I, I sure. wish there was some way to mod the console versions to put those songs back because, God, they... I, I get it that, like, the beta versions that they included in sonic origins were like the original songs Mm -hmm. but there's i mean i even listened to uh (laughs) hard times by the jetsons the the unreleased b-side that took the sample of sonic 3 and knuckles or sonic 3's ice cap zone Mm -hmm. i listened to that unironically as like just a good song it's a great song it's so good hard times happiest days of our lives yeah and i wish that they would they would have some sort of uh 
deal that they could strike with these bands and like you know just acquire the rights to these songs that you know pretty blatantly take some of the the instrumentation or samples from those songs and like Mm -hmm. there's got to be some deal that can be struck unless it's just tied up in in limbo right like it's i don't know i don't know how much uh legal stuff is going on it maybe michael jackson's family maybe i don't know I have I've tried no to get to the bottom of it, and uh, people it's are hard very to get a conclusive talk about it. answer. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's even true. off the record. I have tried to talk to people Same. about it, and they're they just will not budge on anything. They'll either they'll either plead ignorance or they will say, "Oh, that's a touchy subject. I can't talk about it." Even off the record, I I got answers like, you know, you can't believe everything that you hear or read. You know, yeah. oh, but Michael Jackson wasn't involved. You know, you just can't believe everything, you know. But just tell me yes or no. <laughs> yeah, you, you really shouldn't believe everything that you hear about things. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day the, the one actual day, truth day. will come out. Exactly. But what we can say is that that is definitely the beat from Hard Times on Ice Cap Zone. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I would uh, advise you to play, if you haven't yet, Sonic 3 Angel Island Revisited, which is like... I uh, have it, yes. You have? Yeah, that's, that's probably the definitive... Sonic 3 and Knuckles, uh, or version of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, uh, with you know, the, one of the, the original soundtrack and everything. One of the first TikToks that I did that like kind of like even moderately blew up was I just recorded the intro of gameplay of uh, Angel Island Revisited of uh, Ice Cap Zone of Sonic snowboarding down the hill as the the beat drops and it's just like so it's such like one of the coolest sequences in. 90s video games yeah for sure and i just like posted it and i was like this section of sonic 3 did not have to go so hard and like (laughs) the sonic community found that and like you know was just like crazy about it so like that i i have a a huge affinity for angel island revisited yeah yeah, it's a great one yeah (laughs) 